Sunday is a very special day that we give reverence to every father that is out there. And I want to say to every father that is there, continue to do the good work that you have done. Continue to, to push. And I pray and hope that your strength is renewed in order for you to have the strength from the Lord to be able to, to continue to support your family, to continue to fight the battles in order to stand in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, let every man, God, may you help them, oh God, to escape, oh God, any situation, oh God, that they are dealing with, God. We pray, oh God, Lord, lift them up, oh God, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the men, oh God, have a passion and desire and to become the leaders of, that we need in this world. We pray, oh God, let there be men that will rise up, God, that will worship you and be able to lead Christ in their households and their homes. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. At this time, I just want to be able to give a quick shout out to my father, Jose Garcia. For the labor that he has done behind the scenes, the sacrifice that he did raising my son. You know, I give reverence to him. The hard hours that he has been put into in order to support and raise us growing up. And I know that one thing's for sure, that when I have a family, I want to base that as my father did. I watched him labor, and the effects that it has done amongst us has been great. So, I honor you, Dad. And I want to honor Mike Hoover. You know, married, he's married to my mom, and, you know, he's been nothing but a blessing. Most of you know him because he's been a blessing to your life. But he's helped me in areas that I know I, that, you know, when he was around, he was just there. And he showed himself as a father to me as well. And I want to give reverence to him as well. Thank you, Mike. And the big, most and foremost, I want to give it to Jesus Christ. For everything he has done and established. Lord, we pray, O God. Lord, may you be lifted up in this very moment, Father. For you are great, Lord. You are great, Lord. Just lift him up right now. He's the greatest Father of all. Hallelujah. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the dark.
Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing.
just he stands in the gas for us. Yes. And he listens from our Lord Jesus Christ. We present to you our pot of our house. Yes. Pastor Charles. I said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. He is our good father. He is the beginning. He is the end. The Bible says in 2 Peter, Chapter 3, verses 8. That he sees thousand years as a day, and a day like thousand. He sees thousand years as a day, and a day like a thousand years. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for all that you have done for us. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for pres preserving us. We thank you. We thank you for this blessed day. A day you have set aside to celebrate fathers. You are a good father. You created us in your own image. You created us in your own likeness. That you created all this for us to just enjoy. You are a good father. Anything that we need to manage, to care for, what you have given us, we ask today that reveal unto us, lead us, teach us, guide us, that at the end of the day, whatever we do as fathers will be pleasing and acceptable unto you, O oh God Almighty. This is what you ask us to do because you are a good father. A good father gives, a good father protects, a good father fights a good fight for his family. Yes. Father, we ask, give us a heart of fathers yes. that we can fight a good fight. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. We thank God for today and uh, just so excited. We have some great fathers, uh, our biological fathers who have stood in the gap for us. Sometimes, you know, we fight them. Sometimes we don't understand them. But at the end of the day, we know that had it not been them, we wouldn't be where we are today. So we salute all our biological fathers wherever they are. We bless them. We bless their memories. Those of us who have lost our biological fathers, uh, we bless their memories. And we thank God for, for, for them, for teaching us and guiding us and giving us words that uh, during troubled days and difficult times, we are able to lean on those wise wisdom, the wise words of wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. We also want to take this time to also acknowledge our spiritual fathers our spiritual fathers wherever you are god bless you we admire you we pray for you and that god will continue to pour into you may you not be tired may you always have uh, the rhema word for us which is much needed in our generation may you continue to to stand in the gap for us lead us as we are following uh, your footsteps. So I want to give a special shout out to our spiritual father, my spiritual father, the, the Bishop of North America, Bishop Kibiotu. We thank God for your life. We thank God for all that you're doing. We bless you today. Your wife, Lady Elsie, and the four beautiful girls, wherever you are, God bless you. May God guide you. May God continue to use you to do greater things. And to our old general, the Papa of our ACI, Global Ministries, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, where it cannot describe how we love and appreciate you wherever you are. May God bless you. May God continue to use you mightily. It's your year. You declare this year the year of the harvest. 
and you are, you are standing in the gap fighting for a better, greater harvest. Mm -hmm. May God sustain your arms, give you a louder voice and a bold, bold steps for new things to emerge. You are a great father. We salute you. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. To all my colleague pastors, uh, fathers, uh, God bless you. I can't, I can't mention all of you, uh, but you know yourselves. You are great today. I salute all of you. To all the fathers of ACI, uh, ACI PA, uh, thank you so very much. You have, you have grown. You have, you have been tested. You have been doing so much for your families. And the, the story and the testimony of uh, SCP is because you've been a great father. And I know that uh, whatever that is left that you have to work on, God will, God will do it for you. Amen. amen. God bless you. And to, our, and to Prophet Ruiz, amen. We have a lot of uh, prophets around, but uh, Prophet Ruiz has been a great father yes. to us. And so we salute him. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I, uh, I want to caption what I want to share today because today being a special day, you know, Father's Day, I want to title it The Journey of the Fathers. Amen? Amen. The Journey of the Fathers. The Journey of the Fathers. Let us pray again. I, I believe that prayer moves things, prayer shifts things. So wherever you are, I want you to connect. I want you to share. I want us to pray with me. Amen? Pray with me so that the fathers can stand. Pray with us so that your brothers can stand. Pray with us so that your husbands can stand. Pray for the male child. Pray because they 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 have a unique assignment on earth. Amen. From the times of Pharaoh, Pharaoh is always the strange Pharaoh is always coming after the son. You know the son has a purpose. Your son has a purpose. And we, we, even though we are celebrating Father's Day, we want to, want to acknowledge the great women in our lives. Because without them, you can't, you, you, the man, you cannot, you cannot survive. <laughs> you cannot survive. You know, you need a mother like that of, like that, like that of Moses. Amen. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Master God, wherever you are, open your mouth and begin to bless God. Begin to thank God, begin to bless God for your father, begin to bless God for your biological parents. You know, some, some, some of us, you know, our uncles stood in and then they did what our fathers could not do at the point. Some of you, you have, you have brothers, you have cousins who stood in the gap for you. Some of you, it were strangers, strangers who acted like fathers for you. Today, open your mouth and begin to bless them. Thank them for what they have done for you. Had they not been there, we call them messengers of God. At that time of brokenness, they, they stood up. At that time of need, they interceded for you. They recommended you and they favored you. Open your mouth wherever you are and just pour it out. Just pour, pour it out in the name of Jesus. Sata Labrandos. Shrinke de la Badu. Zekata Madela Brando. Sianta Madele de Zata Labran. Mandele Bro Zata Labrande. Sianta Lagata. Smante Suade Labras. Mande Labrando Zacate Labras. Mandele que de lebran de sacata labrando sita labande mando lo prosende la lebra sanda labrande le que de mando lo asata labrande mande labranda labra sata labar mando sata labrande lebra sada ya mande le de atala mando in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray with thanksgiving amen God is good all the time. Hallelujah. God lives in eternity by created man to live within time. God is not limited by time. He lives forever. Hallelujah. He created man to live within time. Amen. The journey of the fathers. The journey of the fathers cannot begin without time. We have to be sensitive to time. We have to do what we have to do given the fact that God has given us a time and a season. 
Hallelujah. The Bible talks about Isaac. The Bible talks about Rebecca, the wife. And they carried two nations at the time. Esau and Jacob. So when you read the book of Genesis 25, you realize that God is speaking to Rebecca concerning the two nations in her belly. Hallelujah. And, he was, and God was so specific that he said, two nations are in your womb and two people are and two peoples from within you shall be divided. The one shall be stronger than the other. The older shall serve the younger one. Hallelujah. Yeah. God was very specific. You know? So that's why we believe in prophetic. Prophetic is what God wants us to do. What will happen? Our sermon on earth. What he has created, that which is hidden, that which must be discovered for our own good. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you are not a mistake. If you are a man and you are broken, you are not a mistake. The Bible said when God spoke to Rebecca about this, she did not disclose to Isaac. And when we come to the book of Genesis 27, something unique happened. So we are going to take our books, our Bibles, and we are going to read Genesis 27, 5 to 13. Hallelujah. Genesis 27, 5 to 13 yes. says, Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son Esau. Mm -hmm. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game and bring it, Rebekah said to her son Jacob, I heard your father speak to your brother Esau. Bring me game and prepare for me delicious food that I may eat it and bless you before the Lord before I die. Mm -hmm. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice as I command you. Go to the flock and bring me two good young goats mm -hmm. so that I may prepare from them delicious food for your father such as he loves. And you shall bring it to your father to eat so that he may bless you before he dies. But Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, my brother Esau is a hairy man and I am a smooth man. Perhaps my father will feel me and I shall seem to be mocking him and bring a curse upon myself and not a blessing. Amen. Let's stop right there for a minute. Amen. Timing is key yes. when you are on the journey as a father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Timing is what? Key. Maybe you might be solid. We are solid young men. You know, with dedication. We love God. We are passionate. But somebody must give you a revelation. Somebody must speak into your life. Somebody must give you a key. Some of us, we are stuck. We are ready to build. We are ready to do great things. But somebody must give us a vision. Somebody must, must come and tell us what is in us. So, some of us must be motivated or encouraged. Somebody can walk up to you and say, do you know that you can, you can do well in this area? Do you know that you, are, you, you can be an engineer? Do you know that you can be a good doctor? Do you know that you can be a good shepherd? Somebody must speak into you. Rebecca is speaking into the life of, of Jacob. He said, I overheard my own husband talking about a blessing. You know? And when I heard it, something within me leaped. Because I remember what God spoke to me concerning you and Esau, your brother. And if I let this time pass by, then you are going to miss something. If I let this occasion pass by, then prophecy will be stacked. But prophecy cannot be stacked because the word of the Lord said, the word of God does not return unto him void. God has spoken. Then the thing is that you, as a man, you must stand to enforce it. You must stand to what? Enforce it. The question becomes, why is it that Isaac is not enforcing it? And why is uh, what Elise, uh, what is the name? Rebecca enforcing it. But who is Rebecca talking to? Mm -hmm. Rebecca is talking to a son. Mm -hmm. A son who is born to lead nations. Mm -hmm. You are that one I am speaking to today. Mm -hmm. You have been waiting for a time such as this. You have been waiting for a year such as this. Mm -hmm. On June 21st, 2020, mm -hmm. that God has has given birth to you. God has created you to do something different. Yeah. Maybe you started thinking that this is how it's going to end. But today I stop by to let you know that there is a greater purpose yes. and the divine revelation that has been hidden from you. Today I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Begin to sense yes. 
the presence of God. Begin to discover self. Begin to accept the potentials in you. That you are not settling because you have you have you have you are married and you just have a car, you have a home, mm -hmm. and you have a reliable job. No, you are supposed to be a leader of a city. Mm -hmm. You are supposed yes. to build cities, you are yes. supposed to lead states, you are supposed to lead nations. Mm -hmm. May you receive that grace in the name of Jesus, that your mind will be renewed yes. and that you begin to take a, a step yes. that will bring to pass what God has ordained before you. Yes before the foundations of the earth, of the earth. If you believe it, put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, he said, I overheard my husband Isaac talking about blessing because I know Isaac's time has come mm -hmm. to an end. It's coming to an end. Mm -hmm. And I know what he carries. I know the mantle he carries. Yeah. I know when he re releases a blessing, it is done. It is final. Yes. You know, some of you, God has blessed you with parents. Physical, biological parents and spiritual parents. And they are spoken into your life. Mm -hmm. And it's just done. Mm -hmm. No weapon formed or fashion against you will be able to distract you. You might be struggling today, but at the end of the day, you shall be the head yes. and not the tail. Amen. The journey is rough, but tarry. Mm -hmm. Believe God. Sometimes when God is speaking, sometimes we the men, sometimes we think that he is not God. You know, if it's God, it will not be this difficult. Mm -hmm. But the journey of the fathers is never easy. Mm -hmm. The journey of the fathers always rests on those that are called and those who are supposed to build cities and nations. Mm -hmm. And that road is rough because only few are mandated and called to what? To fulfill it. Yeah. And I know without a shadow of that, that you and I have been set aside. Mm -hmm. uh, the angel of the Lord appeared to Jeremiah and said, Jeremiah, ma, do you know that before you were caught in your mother's womb, you were called to be a great, mighty man of God, moving nations. He said, no, I didn't know. Today, your true identity will be revealed. Mm -hmm. This year, you shall possess the gate of the enemy that afflicted your family. This year, you shall possess the gates of those who afflicted your family, especially your fathers. Mm -hmm. The curse of your fathers are broken because you are, you are, yes. you are receiving revelation to do something that your father did not do. That you are going to skip all landmines, hidden agendas, ambushment, and you are going to overcome. You are pulling your family together. You are bringing them together because God has given you a revelation, defining your mandate on earth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you believe it, let us celebrate Jesus Christ today. Now, Jacob, he said something scary to the mother. He said, Mom, I look different than my father. I look different than my brother. Mm -hmm. And Rebecca is saying that, you know, my son, just listen to what I'm saying. It's not about look. It's not about how you, you sound. It's not how your, your father is going to detect and know that you are Jacob and you are not Esau. Mm -hmm. I am, see, when God speaks, God gives instructions. Mm -hmm. When God speaks, God gives strategies. When God speaks, God gives plans. So anytime you hear from God, you must also align your spirit with the spirit of God that at the appointed time on this journey, God will give you instructions. May you not go before God because of a dream. May you not go before God because of a prophecy. May your life after prophetic word in the name of Jesus change to be that of a child of God who obeys instructions, who takes wise counsel. The Bible said David could not rule effectively without the counsel of Ahithophel. Because he said he, he, he was the oracle of God. Mm. When he speaks, things happen. Because he speaks the mind of God. Mm. May you align yourself with divine helpers, divine connectors. Yes. Those who hear Rima. Yes. Those who have on, on time words from God. Yes. Who shift things and align things. May you never in the name of Jesus be taken for granted again. Yes. May you not be sabotaged again. Yes. May you be the head. May you be an overcomer. Yes. May you be a recoverer. Recover and repossess. Take charge of the gates. The name of Jesus. And may your eyes be open. See far. And know what God is doing for your family this year. As a, as a father stand. The angels of the Lord will lift you. Will guide you. That you will not be weak again. In the name of Jesus. Fight a good fight for the family. Stand in the gap for your family. And anytime you need help. The angels of the Lord. Messengers of God will come to your rescue. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
He said, what? He said, don't worry about it. He said, my father will curse you. Because there are some places of treasure. When you are going there, there is always danger there. The reason why men sometimes we panic for pursuing the right thing is because of the battle. Sometimes we don't want to be wounded. Sometimes we don't want the scars. We don't want, we don't want, so we put on this, 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 this face. You know, we want to fight, but we are afraid of fighting. We want to stand in the gap for that woman. We want to stand in the gap for the children. But we are afraid because sometimes we feel as if we will be compromised. Mm. Our strength will be compromised. Yes. The honor, the dignity that we have, the character that we have. But sometimes if you think too much about it, if you are not using it to fight a good fight, you become the day. May you not be the day. Yes, fight a good fight. Yes. This woman, I love this woman. He said, let the curse, the curse come upon me. Yes. As fathers, we should not be afraid of the battle. Mm -hmm. We should not be afraid because of the, the fact that the work is so hard. We should not be afraid because of offense. Mm -hmm. We should not be afraid because of distractors. Right. We should not be afraid and intimidated because of the battles in our family. Mm -hmm. Maybe your father was not there. Mm -hmm. Grandfather was not there for your father. Mm -hmm. So you feel like you want to do the same pattern. But today, just like Esau, just like Jacob, just like Isaac, just like Rebecca, they are born to possess nations. You are born to possess nations. Learn something from this scripture today. Learn something from this story today. And may your journey to conquer, may your journey to stand in the gap, never be compromised. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And then what did he say? Um, his mother said to him, let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice and go bring them to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, just obey my voice. Whose voice are we listening to as men? Whose voice? Whose voice? Sometimes I'm telling you, the, the, the place of greatness, the great of best, best, sometimes is always disguised. You see, men, sometimes we feel like a man, the man that can speak to us must be of must be some way. Huh? Yeah. The only person who can influence influence us must be some way. You know? So we size those who can really, really impact our lives. And we wait and wait. And those that we want them to come and impact our lives are not showing up. It's an imagination. The day that God gave birth to us, he has also given us divine protectors and divine connectors. So every stage of your way, you meet somebody who is sent by God to move you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Isaac wants to bless, but the enforcer is the mother from the same family. Mother and what? Father. Mm -hmm. My brothers and my sisters, we have to stand for families again. Husbands and wives, you must work together as a team. There must be no such thing like offense. Mm -hmm. My way, Amen. I am the woman. I am the man. No, let's work together as a team. Because, he said, my ways are not their ways. Mm -hmm. The way God wants to orchestrate this and release this blessing upon this son and fulfill this prophecy, Isaac didn't know. Mm -hmm. Jacob, Jacob didn't know. Esau didn't know. Rebecca is working it. Mm -hmm. Isaac is working it. Mm -hmm. Esau is working it. Mm -hmm. Jacob is working it. Everybody is doing something at the same time. Mm -hmm. Everybody is responding. And I speak to that man who is sitting. Always want to sit. May you react. Yes. React to the calling of God. Yes. Respond to the calling of God. Yes. Stand for your family. Yes. Don't give up. Don't quit. Fight a good fight. May God give you the strength, yes. the wisdom of the Lord, yes. the knowledge of the Lord, no. the understanding of the Lord yes, to Lord. charge, forge forward, yes. bring something to the family, yes. bring something home. Yes. When you take a step, you will not return empty-handed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's look at Genesis 27, 26, 30. Genesis 27, 26, 30 says, yes. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come near and kiss me, my son. Mm -hmm. So he came near and kissed him. And Isaac smelled the smell of his garments and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. 
May God give you the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers and, and may your mother's Stop. son... Let's, let's, okay. let's pause for one second. Okay. You see, when he obeyed, you see what is happening? Mm -hmm. What is happening? Blessings. Yes, blessings. And this blessing is not a new blessing. It's a fulfillment blessing. Mm -hmm. Because Genesis 25 talked about how God had already spoken that the younger one, Jacob, shall be greater, mm -hmm. shall be a nation builder, yes. nation leader. Yes. Because this is the prophetic word that God has given Abraham, mm -hmm. that your descendant. Yes. See, so the grandchild of Abraham must, must ascend to the throne, mm -hmm. must be blessed. So now Isaac is now releasing that blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaac is releasing, there is a time of blessing. I pray that at the day and time of blessing, you will not miss it. Amen. I pray that you begin to respond, act, do things, work, labor, that will propel you to a place where the blessing is. Amen. May you not miss it in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Let your distracted be ashamed. Amen. When they come up with schemes to distract you and to take your blessings and to delay it, I pray in the name of Jesus that God will open your eyes yes. and God will give you the strength to take that step yes. to be an overcomer. Overcome them yes. and let their hidden schemes, hidden agenda, the agendas, yes. the persons on the other side mm -hmm. who don't like you, who don't like your father, yes. who don't like the sons, who don't like the husbands, yes. to succeed and stand in the God for families. Mm -hmm. We pray in the name of Jesus, let them be scattered. Yes. Let them be scattered. Let yeah. their counsel be rendered useless. Rendered useless. Wherever they are gathering to yeah. plot against you, your family, yeah. the father, the husband, yeah. the son, the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be confusion in their camp. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray with thanksgiving. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's what? Redeeming the blessing. Amen. He's redeeming. He's speaking the blessing of God yes. over the son. Yes. Because your son has what? Obeyed. Yes. You must be obedient. We must be obedient as yes. sons. We must be obedient as men. Yes. We must be obedient as fathers. Amen. The enemy is fighting for families all over the world. Mm -hmm. They are coming with systems and structures to afflict families. Yes. By you, my brother, you, my, 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 my father, mm -hmm. rise up. The right. battle is not over. Right. Let us continue to build. Build what families? Build sons. Yes. The name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Sons obey thy father. Sons obey their mother. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Let's continue. Hallelujah. It says, Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Mm -hmm. Be Lord over your brothers and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Mm -hmm. Cursed be everyone who curses you mm -hmm. and blessed be everyone who blesses you. Mm -hmm. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, when Jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of Isaac, Hallelujah. His father, let's, let's even expand a little bit on the blessing part. Mm -hmm. So my brothers and my sisters, is the scheme of the enemy to make you feel like you have to be fighting every day and arguing every day. Did you hear the blessing? When you, when you get to the other part, he said that, curse be the one who curses you. Yes. You know, so it has already been what? Established. Yes. That anybody who come against you is, will be what? Will be cursed. Yes. Will be broken into pieces. Yes. So it is not our job to get up every day fighting, arguing, and debating. Our job is to focus on that which God wants us to do. Amen. Is to defend and protect the family. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because a battle within the family distracts and destroys the family. That's right. He said, your, your family, even everybody in your family shall bow to you. They shall serve you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go around and say, you serve me. Mm -hmm. Do you know who I am? Mm -hmm. huh? Didn't you hear that God said, that I am the boss here? <laughs> this is what is dividing the family. Yeah. Because no matter how gifted, strong, mighty you are as a man, educated as you are, somebody must help you. Mm -hmm. Maybe your brother must help you, your wife must help you. Yeah. Everybody in the family has something to do for you to become great. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a role to play. Sure. Rebecca had a role to play. Mm -hmm. Isaac had a, a role to play. Esau had a role to play. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be contention. It's not going to be presented to you on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are sitting there with a the great vision. You are sitting there with a the mighty, mighty anointing. Mm -hmm. But you think that you can just come one day and just let this happen. No. 
you still have to work with your family. Yes. You still have to work with the team. You have to build a team. Yes. See, a team of people who have been mandated, called for a time like this to be on your side, protect you. It's not everything that you see. It's not everything that you hear. Isaac has been promised. Isaac is the is the nation builder. But Isaac <laughs> didn't know that God has spoken to Rebecca. What is hidden is hidden. What is hidden must be revealed. There are secret things, deep and secret things that God has hidden. He said, I will reveal them to my babies. I will reveal them to my children. I will reveal them if I want to do something, I will I will notify or I will alert the prophets. I love the relationship between God and Abraham. And I love how Abraham interacted with God. How he interceded. How he negotiated. May that grace to intercede, negotiate, not give up. Be given to the mothers, the fathers today. To be given to the husbands. To be given to the sons. Son, in the name of Jesus, may you not quit, may you not surrender. Let that spirit that causes us to quit prematurely be arrested. Let that spirit that causes us to backslide be arrested. Let that spirit that always interfere with the things we want to do be arrested. In the name of Jesus, let God give you and I the spirit to tarry. The spirit to stand in the gap. The spirit to have the strength of the Lord to wage war that God has mandated us to walk to what to fight. Is that like us fight the good fight? In the name of Jesus Christ. Read on, please. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, mm -hmm. when Jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, Jesus. Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. Mm -hmm. Esau came from the hunting. Everybody want the blessing. Everybody is working for it. You are working for it. Some of you, you married the woman you married, not because she was that, that, there by herself. She is beautiful. Other guys also wanted to marry her. By the grace of God, she said no. She, said, she didn't say no to you. She said yes to you. You know? Are, are you getting the picture? So, some of the women were even confused because there were three potential guys. By the grace that God gave you, because you, you could discern and detect divine timing and know that if I marry this woman, my journey to become what God has created me to, to, to become will be, will be what? Will be fulfilled, will be easier. Yes. So you did whatever you had to do. Mm -hmm. Today, may you not look back and regret. Amen. When you make the right decision, the enemy will come and speak to you as if you made the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. Some of our fathers, mistake was that they look back mm. they look back like the wife of Lot mm. and they became known mm. the heart they had for our mothers the love they had for their children became known I pray that you and I will not be known again yes. I pray that we will be able to detect the schemes of the enemy yes. that every information is given us is to destroy and afflict our own family mm. but let that curse be broken oh, okay. let that mindset in the name of Jesus Christ be destroyed. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You see, so Jeb, Esau also wanted the same thing. You see how it goes. Traditionally, Esau knows that I am the heir to the throne. Yes. So that's why he could even care less. You know, that's why they say. You see, sometimes some people are very aggressive. I like aggressive people, but you know what? If you are too aggressive, you miss divine blessings. If you are too aggressive, the Bible said Esau was a very aggressive person. Right? Mm -hmm. Very strong. Mm -hmm. Jacob was calm mm -hmm. and calculated. Mm -hmm. May you be calm, relaxed in the bosom of the Lord. Mm -hmm. May you trust God with your life. Trust mm -hmm. God with your family. Trust God with your vision. Yes. And then may you only move when God moves. May you only speak when God speaks yes. in the name of in Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. You see, aggressive people can be careless sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, they can be careless and carefree. Mm -hmm. You know you are the head, but you sold your birthright because of the cup of soup. Mm -hmm. You see, when you are too aggressive, you become tired quickly. Mm -hmm. You burn energy. Mm -hmm. 
when you are when you are tired, that's when the enemy comes. When you are tired, that's when the offer comes. But I pray that our fathers who are tired, fighting that the enemy wants to come and take something from them that will deny us happiness and joy of the family. We pray in the name of Jesus that the strength of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, will guide them. That the strength of the Lord, the blood of Jesus that was was shed on the cross, will undergird that will rise up and protect that which belongs to the family. In the name of Jesus, that we shall not lose as a family again. We shall not lose as a church again. We shall not lose as a body of Christ again. In the name of Jesus, let God help us to redeem that which has been stolen. Yes. The name of Jesus. Redeem that which has been stolen from the family. Redeem your identity. Redeem the joy. The peace. Redeem it in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go on to the, the next 27, 34 to 40. Yes. Genesis 27, 34 to 40 says, As soon as Esau heard the words of his father, he cried out with an exceedingly great and bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. Mm -hmm. But he said, Your brother came deceitfully, and he has taken away your blessing. Mm -hmm. Esau said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has cheated me these two times. He took away my birthright. Amen. And... Mm -hmm. You see, this is what happens in our family. Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened in the family of Isaac is what manifests in our family today. Right. The Bible said Esau showed up late, right? Mm -hmm. Esau showed up late. And the father is telling him that Jacob has already taken the blessing. That's right. He has taken the, the better part of the blessing. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And he said, again, mm -hmm. this my brother again. Yes. This, oh, is it not called Jacob? So in the family, they know that Jacob is on way. So Esau calls his own brother some way. Is he not called Jacob? Hmm. You know, is he not? Is he, in our family today, don't we call some people some names? Then he comes again. Anytime mom shows up, or anytime he, she shows up, anytime my brother shows up, this is how he, he this is how he behaves. Yeah. This is how she behaves. Yeah. It's in our family today. Yes, it is. So father and son, Esau and Isaac, they are now what? Talking. And they are calling Jacob names. Mm. Not pretty names, but mm. names. Mm. But this is the one God has said blessed. Mm. Blessed from the womb. And has received a blessing. Mm. But the narrative, the description is very bad. Mm. You see, if you want to concentrate on how people describe you sometimes, mm. what they say about you, my brother and my sister, you will not be able to be on this journey. Mm. You will not be able in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be able to do anything that God has called you to do. Amen. So that I pray that any false narrative, any, false. any spirit that gives you a, a, a narrative for you to be offended, yes. to quit surrender, I pray. Yes. This story should help you, my brother, today. Yes. This story should help you that when great things are about to happen, the reaction sometimes, the narrative sometimes, the story sometimes, the description sometimes, how people talk to you sometimes is not what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. But your eyes should be set yes. on what you have received. Your eyes should be set on the vision. Yes. Your eyes should be set on the journey of the fathers. Yes. There is a journey of the fathers, you know. Mm -hmm. The journey of the fathers is not for the chickens. Mm -hmm. It's not for the wind. Is for those who stand in the gap. Right. Jacob has risked his life to receive a blessing. Mm -hmm. Fathers, we must risk to receive, to protect, and to defend. Mm -hmm. When men were asleep, Matthew 13, the enemy came to plant. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, watch and pray. Mm -hmm. Watch and pray. Mm -hmm. Lest you fall into what? temptation. May any tempter that has been assigned yes. to come and cause us to slumber, sleep and not rise up and fight, discover, recover, be on the journey, embark on the journey like our fathers. Mm -hmm. We are praying that as for you and I, 
we shall not be afflicted. Yes. We shall not lose. Yes. We shall not, in the name of Jesus, yes. labor in vain. Yes. That we shall not show up late. We shall show up on time. This all showed up late. It's when you are dealing with spiritual things, you can never outrun the Spirit of God. You can never outsmart the people of God. Wherever God is, when the presence of God is present, Nobody can outsmart anybody who is within the jurisdiction of God. May you be planted, be, be, be under the, the canopy and the hand of the Almighty God. Like the days of Elijah, the Bible said, Elijah now has received the presence. He was operating just like a prophet, you know. But God <clears throat> now said, my presence is now upon you. There's a difference between the giftings, the anointing, as a pastor, as an apostle, as a, as a, as what, as a prophet, but those who desire the presence of God, they do, they do something else. They do extra. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He did extra. He got to a point and said, "Look, I'm tired of this assignment. I'm tired of being a prophet. Mm. This prophetic work is so difficult yes. because every prophet you have a Jezebel. Wow. A Jezebel can be a man. A Jezebel can be a woman." You know, but Jezebel is conquering so fast. Mm -hmm. Jezebel is killing people. Yeah. Jezebel is destroying the church. Mm -hmm. Jezebel is destroying the family. Yeah. And now, Elijah is saying, am I the only prophet? Mm -hmm. He's talking to God. Yes. You know, as a man of God, as a man of God, as a father, you must be talking to God. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we don't talk to God, we talk to men. Mm -hmm. So we are confused. Today, let there be a reverse. reverse. In the name of Jesus. When the, 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 the hand of the Lord came upon him, he now told Ahab, he said, Ahab, you, your chariot and horses, you take, take, you know, just take lead. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, just go ahead because I shall overtake. And the Bible says he overtook. Yes. May the overtaking grace come upon all of us men. Yes. Good. That may we overtake from the place where our fathers lost. Yes. That as we see the barrier, as we see the wall, and we are intimidated today because you are tarrying, believing that you went back on this journey of the fathers. May the anointing of the Lord, like the days of Ezekiel, yes. may God's hand rest upon you as you believe. Let the walls break, let the walls collapse. May you overtake, possess in the name of Jesus, and let the curse of poverty, famine, and drought in your family be over. Be over. Have enough abundance for the next generation and the third and fourth generation. Yes. May you not lack, may you not be in line again yes. in the name of yes. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. The journey of the fathers. Yes. The journey of the fathers. Amen. Continue. Amen. And it says here, He took away my birthright. Behold, now he has taken away my blessing. Yeah. Then he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Isaac answered and said to Esau, Behold, I have made him lord over you and all his brothers, mm -hmm. and I have given to him for servants, and with grain and wine I have sustained him. Mm -hmm. What then can I do for you, my son? Is it? He is repeating exactly what he has done. Mm -hmm. Boldness. Yes. You don't check it out. Mm -hmm. Some of us, when we are confronted, we change our mouth. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Oh, well, I didn't say anything. No, you are, you are, you are not a man yet. Mm -hmm. When you are a man, I believe, I, I remember when we, I was taking this course called uh, Element of uh, uh, Commercial Law, from the Business Law. Mm -hmm. And so this professor who was teaching us business law is a real lawyer. So in you know, the British way, he would come to class sometimes with that goofy really? thing on there. <laughs> you know, he was a lawyer, a young lawyer, and in my class there were a lot of beautiful girls who he wanted to... So one guy, this guy, the one day this guy came to class late, and he said, hey, "You, you have, you have, you have, you have, you are, you are late." Mm -hmm. And the guy, he puffed, he was like, and then he walked away. And the guy said, "Hey, what? You know, you know he, the guy, the guy walked away, and he did that, and he said, and he said, what did you do?" Mm -hmm. The guy snubbed the professor, you know, mm -hmm. and he said something cheeky in, 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 again, mm -hmm. and the guy. The professor called the guy and he said, look, walk out. Mm -hmm. And the guy grabbed his bag and he was walking out. And he said, what did you say? I want you to say what you said. Mm -hmm. It was like a whispering, mm -hmm. you know. When he said, go out, he said, to hell with you. Mm -hmm. 
but he whispered it, mm. and the professor heard it. Mm. And he said, what did you say? Say it to the class. And he was bold, he said, I said, to hell with you. Mm. And the professor said, okay, go back and sit down. This is law class. <laughs> the fact that you are able to repeat <laughs> what you said, it means you are bold. Mm -hmm. You can't be a lawyer, you can't be a defender, you can't be an intercessor when you keep changing your mouth. You understand? You can't. Isaac has released blessings that he thinks is for Esau to Jacob. And they detected that, look, it, he deceived us. He played both of us to receive a blessing. But he's repeating verbally, verbatim, what he has released to Jacob, to Esau. How many of us will be able to do that? How many of us will be able to tell the truth? That yeah, I did it. Mm. I took it. Mm. I said it. Mm. Now what? You cannot be on the journey of the fathers if you are afraid of the truth. Sure. You cannot be on the journey of the fathers if you are afraid to take a stand. Mm -hmm. You cannot be on the journey of the fathers if you backslide and you quit, mm -hmm. easily offended, mm -hmm. huh? you cannot be on the journey. You see, the prophetic word to redeem the, the, the covenant of God is only spoken to people who will do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. So before they were caught, the Bible said to Jeremiah, before you were caught in your mother's womb, so he knew that this one does not give up. It is not that God is playing favoritism. He said, look, when I see, he said, he sees the end from the beginning. When I see your, 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 the way you will live your life, let me give the blessing to this one. He lost all of us. But I urge you, because the Bible said, in, even in, in, when, the Bible said, when the blessing was given, Esau now went and married the cousin that was, he was not supposed to marry. He went there and married from, from Ishmael's family. Took a wife from, from Ishmael's family. They are cousins. Isaac and Ishmael, they are, they are half-brothers. Yep. So now Esau went and married. Who? Ishmael's daughter. You see, God looks at our decisions and what we do to release certain revelations to us. I pray that no matter what, wherever you are, may you not make any decision that will disadvantage you. Amen. May you not, in the name of Jesus Christ, hearken unto the voice of whispering. Things that you see physically, but are not confirmed spiritually. I pray in the name of Jesus that there will be a balance in your life, a balance in your finance, a balance in your health, a balance in your family. That you will not take to, you will not be intimidated, you will not be afraid Amen. to tell people who you are right. in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes. He said, We shall worship him in what? Spirit Amen. and in truth. So the journey of the fathers can only manifest if the truth is in your mind, if the truth is in your mouth, and if you are led by the Spirit of God. May God locate you, may God lead you. May the truth of the Lord never depart from you. The truth is that you are a child of God. The truth is that you are a man of God. The truth is that you are a father. The truth is that he created you in his own likeness. The truth is that he has preserved you and protected you for a time like this. The truth is that you are born for greatness. The truth is that your wealth is for your family. The truth is that you are a, 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 what, a nation builder, a city protector. May this be your mindset. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you finish that part, please? Yes. What then can I do for you, my son? Mm -hmm. Esau said to his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, away from the fatness of the earth shall, you, sh shall your dwelling be, and away from the dew of the heaven on high. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you shall break his yoke from your neck. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, mm. specific words, prophetic words are specific. Mm -hmm. 
And prophetic instructions are also what? Specific. They go hand in hand. Yes. The prophetic word is itself is not enough. But it has to be it has to be backed by prophetic instructions. Mm. instructions. You know, mm-hmm. what we are lacking as men, what we are lacking as fathers is the instructions. Mm-hmm. So it comes with impatience. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because we are not patient. We've heard that we are the head of the family. So we want to do without instructions. Mm. So we are failing. Yes. We pray that we will tarry. Isaiah said the other day in Isaiah 30, 15, he said, in quietness but in confidence shall be your strength. Mm-hmm. Isaiah gave us that to men. Mm. In quietness. We have to be quiet, but we are confident. We are not stupid. Mm-hmm. And then he went on, Isaiah 40, 31, he said, but they that wait upon the Lord. He is confirming the fact that the fact that I'm waiting Quietly does not mean that I don't. I cannot behave like the other men. Right. I cannot also jump into the pool. Mm-hmm. I cannot also just leave and behave like the other men there because I'm still young yet. There are a lot of girls there. You know, I can I can have babies all over the world. He said, "No, wait, mm-hmm. wait, wait on your wife, mm-hmm. wait on your children. Mm-hmm. See that they grow. Mm-hmm. Fight a good fight. Intercede for them. You know, care for them." Be concerned when they are sick. Be concerned when they have a need. Hallelujah. He's begging. He said, but Esau is now crying. Esau is, you see, some of us, we don't care. You know, you are at the place of blessing. Everybody is getting something. But you have an issue. You know that this is the place of blessing. But you know what? You are so offended that you are walking away. Esau heard that Jacob has received the blessing. Those days, a blessing changes your life. And the father is saying, I have given it away. I have given it away. Now he started weeping. Don't you have any left? Don't you have anything for me? You see, my brothers and, and my brothers and my fathers, there is still more that is left. There is still a reservoir. See, in the kingdom of God, there is always a reservoir. In the kingdom of God, there is always a leftover. You see, this is a leftover anointing. Later on, you find out that even the leftover anointing make the man so prosperous. Yes. Leftover anointing makes him prosper. So prosperity, the one that we want, the car, the house, is a leftover anointing. Mm. What we are settling on as if we have arrived is the leftover one. Mm. It is not the real one. It is the cramps. Mm. Israel is getting the cramps. Mm. Jacob received the right one. Yeah. How do you receive the right one? To Christ Jesus Christ. Mm. Being obedient, praying, waiting. I mean, the desire of your heart, I shall grant. What will God grant? He said, love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. Love the Lord with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their mind. So what is so dear to God? That when you desire the same thing God will grant unto you. He said humanity. Mm. Matthew 5. The Beatitudes. He laid it out. Yes. How we can be blessed. So what type of blessing do you, my brother, my father, are you working on? Mm. But I pray. He said that he won't ask the other. He said go in into the world. But do not be conformed to the things of the world. We have settled on cars. We are settled on homes. We are settled because we went to college. That's crumbs. The woman whose daughter was sick rushed to Jesus Christ and said, my daughter is dying. Son of God, my daughter is dying. He said, look, what has this got to do with me? Mm. She was pleading, crying for the crumbs. Mm. And the crumbs healed her daughter. Esau is pleading for crumbs. Is there anything left? Some of us, we know what crumbs can do for us. Mm-hmm. After the food is prepared and distributed, some of us, it is not enough. We are still hungry and we go and scratch. Crumbs. The crumbs, <laughs> the leftover, yes. the rice, the hard one, yes. the one people throw away. Yeah. That one is our crumbs. Yeah. We eat it, we drink water and we are full. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we don't even fight for the right one. We fight for the leftover. Maybe there is a brother here. Mm. You are about to give up. Mm. But the cramps can sustain you, can extend your life. Mm. 
The crafts can bring your family back. That's right. The crafts can restore everything, can restore the ministry. Amen. Maybe you think that maybe you are supposed to be this, you are supposed to be that. But that is gone. Amen. But what is left can change your life. Right. What is left for you can change destinies. Esau became prosperous. Esau was blessed. Esau had followers. Esau was strong because of a leftover. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Isaac was bold enough and said and repeated, he said, look, you shall send your brother. You shall. Look, if you are a man, don't be intimidated because somebody who is younger than you is trying to be the head. Don't be intimidated because your greatness is tied to that person. Your greatness, your output, uh, your harvest is tied to somebody who even doesn't qualify to be your your, your friend. See, I'll take the foolish things of this world to confound your wives. Amen? Amen. So sometimes when we, we expect we are overqualified, we overqualified ourselves. That's one thing. Esau was overqualified. So he became careless. Say, I will not be careless. I will not be careless. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Say, I will, I will be focused on the greater cause. The, the journey of the fathers the the father. is what I will back on. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He mm. said, a time will come when you are sick and tired of all this, then this curse will be broken over you. Mm. Let every curse over your life yes. come to an end. Yes. Let every curse of your father because of this revelation let it come to an end. How does it come to an end? You know that this case is affecting my father. Mm -hmm. Now that I know that this is a case working against my father, mm -hmm. now I have the revelation to do something different, yeah. that I do not come under the same case. Mm -hmm. So when you are sick and tired of the case of the family, mm -hmm. when the revelation comes to you that the men in the family experience this, when that revelation comes, you do something different. Then that day, moving forward, the case is broken. Amen. But when you know and you keep doing the same thing, the case is not broken. Mm -hmm. When the anger is still there, Jacob, when I see Jacob, I will kill Jacob. Mm -hmm. You are still under a case. Mm -hmm. Jacob should fail, you are still under a case. Mm -hmm. Jacob should be buried, you are still under a case. Mm -hmm. Because he said, He who God has blessed, no man can curse. So that's why we have to be very careful. The soul is prayer sometimes you pray. Sometimes some people will give you false information about people. Yes. And the information they are giving about the person is not true. Mm -hmm. And then you catch on that information and you begin to project. Mm -hmm. How do you project against Jacob? Mm -hmm. Jacob is on the journey of the fathers. Mm -hmm. He said, I, I'm a young man, but I will embark on the journey, a lonely journey. Nobody is going with me. I'm risking my life to redeem a prophecy God has given. Not man. God. Say so the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. My fathers, my brothers, my, 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 my fellow brothers and sisters, my fellow brothers in the kingdom of God. Let us fear God again. Every covenant God has given you, every anointing has a battle to fight. Has a battle. But you can't fight it because the enemy is wise. The enemy is dangerous. But the Bible gave us assurance by divine revelation. He said the battle is the Lord. Amen. The battle is the Lord. Yours is to say, God, I will go. Yours is to say, God, I surrender. Yours is to say, God, I will obey. That's it. And before you get there, you see that something has changed. They said you are not qualified, but because you are going with God, as soon as you get there's a lesson what we can do for you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. We, we don't know what is wrong with you. Somebody said, said the other day that they are, I'm having some symptoms like COVID-19. Everything suggests. Mm -hmm. And then we started praying, praying, praying. And then they said, the doctor said, there's no symptom like the test came negative. And you see, sometimes if you believe God, mm -hmm. if you believe God, and if you surrender to God, if you trust God, if you desire to live for humanity yes. and impact the life of others, mm -hmm. God moves closer to you. God comes closer to you. 
The cramps is okay. Mm. Aren't you tired of the cramps? Mm -hmm. The presence will give you abundance. Mm -hmm. The presence will give you nations. Yes. May the presence of the Lord come yes. as you desire. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 2817. 2817. Genesis 2817 says, And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Hallelujah. This is the gate of what? Yeah. Where, where, where? It's 10 to 17. Can you read it quickly for me, please? Ten to seventeen says, and Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran, and he and he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set, and he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep, mm -hmm. and he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it, and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father and the God of Isaac the land whereon thou liest. To thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt, shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in, the, and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places whither thou goest. And I will bring thee again into this land, but I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have, set, which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awakened out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it not. And he was afraid and he said, How dreadful is this place. This is none other than but the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. Amen. Amen. You see? You see how God works. When you are on the journey, but starting from obedience, you know, following divine instructions, then God talks to you. War cry says something that is important. I said that when God speaks to you, or when somebody ministers you or give you a prophetic word. Wait. Wait. That's the time salvation starts. Now I know who I am. I know my purpose. Then I begin to follow and follow instructions. And then the time the job, the work starts is when God speaks to you directly. When God confirms directly what, so most of us in our generation we are only hearing the same thing oh this is the second time a prophet has said that to me this is the second time the prophet this is the third time the prophet is that. but now it means that you have to now begin following instructions so God meets you and reveals to you and confirm what Rebecca has said to you why Isaac anointed you and why the meaning of the blessings Always don't forget the blessings, the words that were spoken over your life. Mm -hmm. Because God will come and speak it. And this is what God is doing. Mm -hmm. God repeated exactly mm -hmm. what Rebecca said without Isaac knowing. Mm -hmm. Isaac came, repeated what Rebecca said without what Rebecca knowing. Yeah. And now God came when Isaac is not there, Jacob is not there. When, when Rebecca is not there, Isaac is not there. Now speaking directly to who? Jacob. Now the boy is now believing that my mom is not a witch. Uh -huh. mm? My father didn't make a mistake. Some of us, we are just hearing who we are. And then we lack interpretation and revelation. And then the very people who bless us, we are calling them names mm. because we lack understanding. Mm. Mm. You see what is fighting our family today? We come and say, no, mom, you are a snake in my life. My wife, you are this. Husband, you are that. We lack understanding. This is the season, this is the era on this part of the journey, you shut your mouth. You don't speak you don't try to inter interpret anything. You just shut your mouth. It hurts. You want to say something, but you are quite dead that weight upon the Lord. I heard a lot of things, but I need confirmation. I heard from mom. I heard from dad. That's all they can give me. But now let the giver of life come and confirm. Why? He said, I saw 
heaven open. Angels ascend and descend. And God speaks to me. And he said, what kind of a mysterious place is this? How can I, that's why I said a place of that type of encounter must be marked. Hallelujah. A place where God speaks to you directly, that place must be holy. That place you must fear. But the thing is the reverse. We fear men, we don't fear God. The place of encounter, we don't fear. If God comes to your room, that room must be holy. It's not everybody you bring to that room. Am I, am I helping you? Some of us, the reason why we are stuck as men is that the place of encounter has become a place of anything. Anybody enters there. But that is the same bed you sleep on for God to visit you and give you revelation. The same pillow, the same bed, but you are defiling the bed. I pray that henceforth, may God wipe all the things that we have done against him, his presence away. That his presence will come. He will visit us again. That will keep ourselves holy. That our body shall be what a holy temple. The journey of the fathers is it's when we fear God. When we hallow the place where he visits. A sacred place. Our father Jacob is saying that the place of visitation is a place of mystery. He marked it. Later, return built a city there because that's the anointing he received to build cities, to build nations. Hallelujah. He went and built a city called Bethel. Up to today, there is a city called Bethel. Even in PA, there is Bethel. There is a church called Bethel. The place where God visited me. The place where God visited me. The memory of divine visitation should not be casualized. The place of encounter should not be trivialized. Anything we have done to trivialize divine visitation, let God be merciful unto us. And let God visit us again. Like the days of Samson. We have broken all the three protocols. But may God visit us again with another. But may we not go ahead of God and say, may we die with our enemies. May we learn from the counsel of our father, Samson, that even though they have removed our families and scattered them, let the next visitation bring them together in the name of Jesus. That we shall not live fighting enemies, waging wars and battles, whilst our families are scattered. While there is no joy in the family. Let the last oil that we have bring families together. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen? Amen. Let's look at Genesis 29, 15 to 30. Genesis 29, 15 to 30 says, Then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my kinsman, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me what shall your wages be? Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the older was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were weak, but Rachel was beautiful in form and appearance. Jacob loved Rachel. And he said, I will serve you seven years for your youngest daughter, Rachel. Laban said, it is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to any other man. S stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed to him but a few days because of the love he had for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, give me my wife that I might go into, for her, uh, go into her, for my time is completed. So Laban gathered together all the people of the place and, and made a feast. But in the evening he took his daughter Leah and brought her to Jacob. And, and he went to her. Laban gave his female servant Zilpah to his daughter Leah to be her servant. And in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And Jacob said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Did I not serve you for Rachel? Why then have you deceived me? Laban said, it is, not, it is not so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Complete the week of this one, and we will give you the other also in return for serving me another seven years. Jacob did so and completed her week. Then Laban gave his gave him his daughter Rachel to be his wife. Then Laban gave his female servant Bilhah to his daughter Rachel to be her servant. So Jacob went into Rachel also, and he loved Rachel more than Leah, and served Laban for another seven years. You see, the journey of the fathers is not like that easy. It's controversial. Yes. It's complex. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. those who settle for the cramps are easily offended. 
But those who are on the path of the fathers, they go through all kinds of crazy stories and narrative in life. How can you, your own uncle, you have worked for this. He said, you could have given the, the, the lady to her for free. Mm -hmm. He asked. I mm -hmm. said, you just work. I'll work for it. No problem. Mm -hmm. See, when anointing is on you, sometimes you bargain some ways that sometimes you, you get disadvantaged. You just, you just show up and say, I'll do it. Don't worry, I'll pay for it. Mm -hmm. Later on, realize that it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. Seven years at night, there was a switch. Mm -hmm. His own uncle. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of tradition. They say, in our country here, you cannot allow the younger one to marry whilst the older one is there. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, Leah had a dim, dim sight. Mm -hmm. She wasn't that attractive as, as Rachel. You see, what attracts us sometimes has a purpose, but you have to work for it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want in this life, that is good. The battle is fierce. Mm -hmm. That's why it is still there. The reason why the golds and the diamonds are still underground, who would devise a ma machine to go underground and discover the thing? Mm -hmm. It is those who are desperate, those who want it bad, yes. those who want to change their family. Yes. Hallelujah. If you want to walk your daughter to, 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 to on the aisle, you have to stay in, the, in her life. That's right. You have to be there. You have to be a good father. That's right. You have to. And she will, she will let you go gray. Mm -hmm. And make you poor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she will let you go through all the you know, nuances of life. Yes. But at the end of the day, the honor that comes with it, yes. the blessing that comes with it, yes. she receives a blessing from her father who walks her down the line. Yes. And she's in tears. You, you get a chance to dance with her. Yes. But Laban is saying, no, no, no. I cannot reverse tradition. You know, but he's joking, he's fully, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's kidding, right? Mm. Because you cannot fool God. Mm. Isaac tried it and Isaac failed. Mm. You know, Isaac tried it. Isaac wanted to bless Esau, but it didn't, it didn't work. Mm. But this time around, Jacob was fooled for the first time. Mm -hmm. Why was he fooled? Because the grace of revelation is not in him. The grace of revelation was in Rebecca. Mm -hmm. At this time, Rebecca is not there. That's right. He has the anointing, but lack the understanding of how to, oh, to outsmart. How to outsmart. You know, Lebanon is a tough guy. He was the one who <laughs> received the messenger of Abraham. Bless Rebecca, the sister, to marry. Mm. So, Laban is a wise man. Mm -hmm. He switched. Mm. But Isaac said, you know what? This is where most of the men we, we, we fail. Mm. This is when we quit. Mm. I have worked for you seven years. Mm. Uncle, <laughs> I will kill you today. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, you are going down. <laughs> seven years, not seven weeks. Not seven months. Seven years, Uncle. This one... Forget you. Mm. I'm going back home. Mm. I'm going to face this. So even if I die, it's better to work seven years and for you to trick me. Mm. You could have said something to me. At night, you switched. Mm. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, yes. but against principalities. Yes. They say, stand, watch, and pray that there is no switch. Matthew 13 said that when the wise people planted good seeds, at night when men were asleep, the enemy came and planted tears. Yes. When Jacob was idle, the uncle switched. Mm. May you never give up until you possess that which defines that which God has released into your life. He said you shall be a possessor of nations. Yes. City builder. But Leah is not the one. Mm. Leah's children are children with the anointing and the grace to break crumbs. Mm. But Rachel's child, Joseph, will carry the one yes. Yes. that will fulfill mm. the prophetic mandate of God. Yeah. So do you quit? Brothers, why do we quit? 
Fathers, why do we quit? You have promised that woman wet because of the prophetic word, because of divine revelation. And now when the battle started, when the schemes of the enemy started, they were offered like Matthew 4. Jesus was also equally tempted. But he won. May we stand for God. Stand for the next generation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said he wept for Rachel for seven years. So 14 years working to just be married to the right person. How many of us? 14 years. How many of us? You see how the enemy came and fought our families. We are married one year, we are divorced. Two years, we are divorced. And sometimes when he investigated the thing, he realized that there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Well, he went behind me and then, you know, he took the money, the joint account money and bought a car. So you divorce. She bought the car and then she's going to work. She didn't tell you, bridge protocol. But when you look at then and you carry the Bible you are reading, then stop reading the Bible. <laughs> stop reading it. Because what is going on between Rachel, uh, going on between Rebecca and Isaac, if it is now a day, there's a divorce. How dare you? I am Isaac. The son of what? Abraham. I'm the one who survived being sacrificed. I'm the one that was there when heaven opened and I heard the voice of God speaking to my father. I was about to be killed. And God miraculously gave a lamb to be sacrificed on my behalf. Me, I am the anointed one. I am the powerful one. How dare you, Rebecca? I will sign the divorce certificate today. You are done. Get out. <laughs> that's what we would do. That's our mindset today. That's why the family is being torn apart. We don't consult God. We consult men. Men are limited with information. Revelation comes from God. Joseph gave us that clue the other day. He said, is it not dreams? Dreams, don't they come from God? And interpretation of this, don't they also come from God? So who is this man who says he owes my life? Who is this woman who says he knows everything about me? No! God knows all this. And he has the power to move us forward. Let us, from all the continent of the world, the sons of God, who have the mandate not to be limited, Arise and let your relationship with God never again be compromised by doctrines, afflictions, deceit, manipulations. Stand up and look high and see, just like Jacob, angels of the Lord ascending and descending. And let there be confirmation about your life on earth. And let your steps be ordered by God. Do great things. Overcome. Break barriers. In the name of Jesus. Do new things. And at the end of the day, stand up like the patriarchs who were on a righteous journey as fathers and give honor to God. Let's build altars again. We have stopped building altars. We have stopped building temples. Even the one that our fathers left for us, we can't even maintain it. We can't maintain it. Let alone build. But let there be an uprising. Let there be a shaking. Let there be a stirring that you and I, on this Father's Day, you say that I am breaking out, I am breaking through, and I am breaking forth. And I will do what my fathers could not do. And I will carry the cross. Whether they betray me, sabotage me, I see the other side of the mountain. That all mountains be leveled for me. Let all valleys raised up for me. May God lead you and I. May your family come together. May they connect. Let there be unity in the families. Husband, love wives. Wives, support the vision. Respect and honor. And children, honor your mothers and fathers. And that it should be well with us. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray with us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You see, the battle whilst we are on this journey. 
is for only those. Why? He's all stayed at home. He's all stayed there. But look at what Jacob is going through. Those who stayed at home receive the crumbs and went. But those who leave home and they don't know where they are even going. Have you been on that journey before? <laughs> you leave home, you don't know where you are going. Sometimes you cry to yourself to sleep. I know America is the greatest country on the earth. When we're in Africa, we love Af America. We study Africa, especially your athletes. We love them. We don't see when they say Americans are playing. Hey, we are watching. <laughs> when they say the Americans are running Olympics, we are. We know all of them. All of them, their names. We know their families. We as if we live here. We buy newspaper. We buy their books. We are just reading about America. I remember the day that I received the, the visa to come to America, I started crying. And I still can't explain that tears. It was not tears of joy. It was tears of fear. Mm -hmm. I'm still, I'm going to a unknown country. I don't know nobody. Mm -hmm. Is it going to end well with me? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be a failure? Mm -hmm. I hear of your cold weather. You know, can I survive? Mm -hmm. You know, I was just weeping as if I shouldn't come. Mm -hmm. You know? When you are on the journey of the fathers, it's an unknown territory. Mm. And I remember as a young man, those days, sometimes I would cry. Mm. I would just close the door and I would just be crying. Mm. I said, God, what are you doing to me? Mm. What is this? Mm. What kind of life is this? Mm. Must I go through this to eat? Must I go through this to just have a car and have a house? Do I have to go through this? This basic things, is this what I have to put up with? Mm. The journey of the fathers. Mm. The journey of the fathers is not just for you. The journey of the fathers is for others. The journey of the fathers is not just you. The journey of the father is for a generation. Yes. It's for a city. It's for a nation. Yes. Arise, my brother, today. Yes. Arise, fathers. Mm -hmm. Arise. Arise, our spiritual fathers. Mm -hmm. Even though you have been sabotaged, mm -hmm. you have been betrayed, mm -hmm. arise. You are not over mm -hmm. the crossing line yet. Mm -hmm. Let the strength of the Lord be your portion. Yes. Carry the cross. Yes. Jesus came. He was so wounded. I still carry the cross. Can you imagine that he was hungry? He was tried, convicted. You see, spiritual things can never be con conceived by physical mind. The Bible said, because they did not get that revelation, they chose Barabbas. Because for him, they know him. That is a warrior. He is a fighter. How do you choose somebody who fought and lost and is in prison? Does it make sense? The one that you are choosing is the one who fought and was captured by the Romans and in prison. Mm. When you release him, you, he can't even fight again. Mm. He's tired. He's afraid. He will compromise. But the one who has performed the miracles, mm -hmm. the one who revealed to you who you are, mm. the one who came and reconciled you back to the Father, that, that one you said, crucify, see, the ones who settle for the crumbs who are not on the journey are all ways chosen mm. over you. Mm. So if you look at the fact that you have been rejected, if you are not careful, you are born as an mm. Why did they reject me? Why did they choose others over me? Why did they recommend others over me? <laughs> Magada lagadas. You are not the crown eater. Amen. You are not a crown eater. Yours is God. Amen. You are born for a time such as this. So there will be a time they will choose others over you. There are times you feel at this I'm married. At this time, I'm supposed to marry. I'm supposed to have this. My ministry should be here. <laughs> the crown eaters settle quicker. 
The grand eaters, they accept all kinds of things. Mm. But destiny changes, they always win. They fight a good fight. Mm -hmm. Fight a good fight, my brother. Yes. Fight a good fight. Yes. As a father. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I know time is going, but I want to bring it down. So turn with me for another 10 minutes. Genesis 30, 25, 34. Genesis 30, 25 to 34 says, As soon as Rachel had born Joseph, mm -hmm. Jacob said to Laban, Send me away that I may go to my ho own home and country. Mm -hmm. Give me my wives and my children for whom I have served you, mm -hmm. that I may go, for you know the service that I have given you. Mm -hmm. But Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your sight, I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Mm -hmm. Name your wages and I will give it. Jacob said to him, You yourself know how I have served you and how your livestock have fared with me. For you... Had little before I came, and it has increased abundantly, and the Lord has blessed you wherever I turned. But now what, when shall I provide for my own household also? He said, What shall I give you? Jacob said, You shall give me anything. You shall not give me anything. If you will do this for me, I will again pasture your flock and keep it. Let me pass through all your flock today, removing from it every speckled and spotted sheep, and every black lamb, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and they shall be my wages. So my honesty will will answer for my la for my later when you come to look into my wages with you. Everyone that is not speckled and spotted among the goats and black among the lambs, if found with me, shall be counted stolen. Laban said, Good, let it be as you have said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But 15 says something. It said, As soon as Rachel gave birth to Joseph, mm -hmm. when do you move? Mm -hmm. When do you return? Mm -hmm. All these years, with all these children, Jacob didn't say anything about going back. But as soon as Jacob is born, he said, I want to go back. Mm -hmm. Fathers, mm -hmm. there are some people in our family that we cannot abort. We cannot give up on the family when they are born. Mm -hmm. You don't abandon your family when Joseph is born. You don't do that. Mm -hmm. When that destiny child is born, you don't give up. You don't quit. Any enemy who is on your tail yes. to abandon your family, yes. even when Joseph is born, mm. even when that divine connector, mm. that one who will help your ministry go to the next level, yes. is released. I pray that today, yes, today. let this same grace come upon you and us. In the name of Jesus, that at the divine timing, May we make the right decision in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, Now he's not talking about money, wealth. He said, I've labored 14 years for the, the, uh, for the women and I've, I'm blessed with prophetic children. But now, this time, they are all before, before Jesus, they are all cramps anointed. But now, the one that will carry the grace that I carry has come. Let me talk about how to manage the wealth. Amen. Let me talk about, let me find a way of wealth creation. Mm -hmm. And they entered into strategic contracts mm -hmm. with his uncle. Mm -hmm. Like never before. He said, this man has changed my salary 10 times. So if I'm not strategic with this guy, this guy is going to switch things again. That's right. But now God is speaking to him about how to prosper. Mm -hmm. You see, when you are dealing with a, 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 a trickster, mm -hmm. a, a deceitful person, your relationship with God must be solid. Yes. When you are working with a company that is promoting others over you, mm -hmm. favoring others over you, mm -hmm. your relationship with God must be stronger. That's not a time for you to be like them. Some of us, we make that mistake. When we are with a group of people and they are not liking, they, they don't like us, we want to be like them. Yeah. We let go of our God. Mm -hmm. We let go of our culture. We let go of our mindset. Our upbringing, we compromise that and then we become followers. May you not be followers. Some people just say, I'm just going with the flow. Don't be going with the flow. Amen. You'll be a casualty. That's right. The first time I was pulled over by the police on the Jersey Ten bike, I was speeding, I was late. I was just going with the flow. <laughs> the people were speeding, I'm also speeding. Mm -hmm. I'm I was enjoying it. I said, Yes, this nice road, I will go. Mm -hmm. I'm flying like 90 an hour. 
I'm following everybody. So before I realized, I'm, I was the, the I was the black sheep. I was at the yeah. Everybody was ahead of me. Yeah. I was at the back. So the police guy pulled me over. He was following me. Mm. I was not in the middle. Mm -hmm. I was at the back. Right. So he pulled me over. I said, you know why I pulled you over? I said, no, sir. He said, you were speeding. Why were you speeding? I said, I was just following them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told him. I said, I was just following them. Mm. May you not be follower of people who are going to perish. Amen. May you not be follower of those people who are going to who are going to what lose. Amen. May you not be set up. They set me up, you know. <laughs> I didn't know. Right now, when I want to speed, I come in between. Yeah. I follow the one who is speeding ahead. Yes. And I also make sure that the one who is following me is speeding equally. <laughs> so we are all speeding. Who would you pick? <laughs> the one behind. Right. May you receive the wisdom of the Lord. Amen. May you not be delayed. May you, in the name of Jesus, have divine damage. Yes. Receive what is yours. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Strategically, the Bible says, God bless you. God bless you. He became rich. Mm -hmm. And you see, the thing is, is that he did not do what the culture of the people were. Was. Mm -hmm. Right? You see, is it a revelation the uncle is giving? Mm -hmm. It's a by divination. Mm -hmm. I've been informed that my blessing is as a result of your presence. Yes. So the God that Laban was worshipping was different from the God mm -hmm. of Jacob. Yes. Even you are there and things are happening in the church, be alert and maintain the oil that you carry. Because everybody's oil is different. Mm -hmm. Even at the same church, everybody's grace is different. Mm -hmm. So you don't stop yours. The things that makes you become a child of God and say, I want to be a follower of somebody. Mm -hmm. I admire this person's grace. I want this person to be this. I want no 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 no. Even to call somebody a spiritual father must be a revelation. Mm -hmm. Must be a reason. Why is the reason why you want this person to be your spiritual father? Is it spiritual or physical? There must be a reason. So that your life does not become deep. So you don't suffer in certain areas. Am I making sense to you? So if it is physical, you make sure you are getting the, the, phys the physical blessing from the person. If it's spiritual, you get the spiritual counseling from the person. If it is both, you surrender. You are comfortable there. You know that physically you'll be blessed. Spiritually you'll be blessed. Morally, the person is solid. Mm -hmm. Else you, you let go of yours and your moral life is compromised. Mm -hmm. Your integrity is com compromised. Your character is compromised. Mm -hmm. May you be wise. wise. May you be wise. Yes. Most men will follow the wrong men. Mm -hmm. That's why our families are scattered. Because a man is not supposed to follow. A man is supposed to lead. That's right. So if a man compromises and follows the wrong person, sure. there's, there's a big problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that the, the, the thing with us is when we fail like that, ego comes in that we don't admit that we are, we are failing or we have failed. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to start all over again. Mm -hmm. May the spirit of pride be arrested. Yeah. 30, 31 verses 11 to 30. Genesis 31, 11, 13 says, mm -hmm. Then the angel of God said to me in the dream, mm -hmm. Jacob, and I said, Here I am. And he said, Lift up your eyes and see. All the goats that mate with the flock are striped, spotted, and mottled. Mm -hmm. For I have seen all that Laban is doing to you. Mm -hmm. I am the God of Bethel, mm -hmm. where, you, where you anointed a pillar and made a vow to me. Mm -hmm. Now arise, go out from this land and return to the land of your kindred. You see, God has confirmed. Mm -hmm. I'm the God who has blessed you, giving you the wisdom about the speckles you know, gold chip and all that, yeah. how you were smart enough, bold enough to take this decision. At the time you were making the decision, yeah. it didn't sound like it's going to work. Yes. Jacob, Jacob thought that, you know, Laban thought that he yeah. is getting the good part. Yeah. You see? Because what Jacob is choosing is something that does not make sense to Laban. It never right. worked. Right. But right. Jacob is saying that that's what I want. Mm -hmm. I want the small part. Yeah. It's just like Abraham. You see, when the glory, when you are not a cramp eater, you are not an intimidated and you are not afraid. Mm -hmm. You can bring the paycheck and put it on the table and say, what do I do with the money? 
So training lesson for some of you who are not married yet. Mm. To see how the money will be used. Mm. To see. Mm. When you come with clean hands, sometimes tell the person that I have this credit card, I owe college loan, I have this, this is how much I make. And see the behavior of the person. Mm. How they behave when they see money. Are they going to still continue to be that righteous woman who respects? Or they will begin to disrespect. Mm. They will begin to control, manipulate. What is this? Or this? Go and sit down here. Go and do this. What did I tell you? No, 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 no. Woman. Mm. Woman. Be a woman of God. Me, I love women, but I love women of God better. Yes. Amen. I love all women, but those that I love are women of God. Mm -hmm. I love the Rebecca's. I love the Rebecca's. I love the Elizabeth. I love because they don't break protocol. When they preach protocol, they align themselves quickly. Because before John the Baptist was born, see, Zachariah is he can't talk. But prophetically, she knew the, the name of the child. John knew the name of the child, but cannot talk. People say just name him like this. He said, No, I must consult my husband. Before the name is announced, Zachariah, Zachariah said, Give me pen and paper. He mm -hmm. wrote the name mm -hmm. and to confirm exactly what the name God has given mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. My brothers and my sisters, mm -hmm. let the Elizabeth in your life take her rightful place. Accept her. Be open. Carry the mantle. Do something. Bring out, protect the family, bring families back to God, and let God be glorified again in the name of Jesus. The last scripture is Genesis 33, verse 20. Genesis 33, 20 says, Yes. There he erected an altar and called it El Elohi Israel. Hello. At the end of the day, he started with God, is ending with God. Amen. The journey of the Father starts with God and it ends with God. Mm -hmm. How does it end with God? He said he built an altar there. He built what? An altar there. And he called it what? El Elohi Israel. Can you imagine that? El Elohi what? Israel. Because Israel has been revealed to him that he is Israel. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Mm -hmm. What is your name? Mm -hmm. What represents your name? What represents your name? The name that God has given you. Every assignment God has given you, at the end of it, something must represent that which God has giving you. At the end of the day, there must be something that is like a replica. A memorial to signify that there was a man who came. Who came anointed, sent by God to do this specific thing. And because of that, there is this memorial for him. That's why the Bible says when Jesus Christ of Nazareth met the woman at the well. <laughs> the woman said this well was dug by our forefather, Jacob. Mm. This is Jacob. Wow. Jacob left something mm. that up to today you can go and sell see. Mm. Anybody who does not come for cramps, come as a messenger of God, always lives in the memorial. Mm. Rise up, my brother. Rise up, fathers. Let us align ourselves. Build something. Fight a good fight. Mm -hmm. The journey of the fathers is not easy. It is tough. But you have been graced, anointed, equipped to overcome. Stand for the family. Mm -hmm. Love again. Teach again. The name of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. We salute our fathers again. Happy Father's Day to all of you.
from our heart from ACP. I send love to my brother in Dallas, John James, Action City Church, Dallas. My nephew who is also in Dallas, Enoch. You know, my friend who is also in Dallas, mm -hmm. Dr. Joseph Ozu Bempra. Uh, my brother, Seth, Pastor Seth Azriv, who is now in Liberia, Pastor Seth, uh, Bishop Kwesi, Pastor Jeremy, all the pastors in Virginia, mm -hmm. Pastor Dion, all of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I salute you. Mm -hmm. I salute all of you. My brother in Silver Spring, Pastor Matthew. My, 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 some, you know, patriarchs in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Pastor Jones. Mm -hmm. We salute all of you. Prophet Ruiz, Prophet Prince, salute all of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bishop Mould. Yes. Bishop Mould. Yes. Bishop Ben Sala. Bishop Opari. Mm -hmm. All of you, those of you who God has raised to come and be a blessing to ACP. God bless you all. If I skipped your name, don't charge it to my heart. We love you very much. On behalf of Pastor J, Myself, the leadership of ACP. We want to say happy Father's Day. ACP, we miss you. We love you so very much. Very soon we'll see you physically. But connect with us on the prayer line four times a day, 7 a.m., noon, 7 p.m., and midnight. And Friday we'll cry. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Set your alarm clock. So these days we are going from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Amen. Okay. Amen. So we have the Bible. We can't just be wearing the t-shirt that pray until something happens. And then we only have the grace for 10 minutes prayer. Amen. We must pray until God confirms the prophetic word on us. Until we encounter God. Amen. Saul did not become poor unless there was an encounter. You see, the encounter is, is great. Elijah did not call fire from heaven unless there was, until there was an encounter. Amen. Elijah did not become the mighty prophet unless he saw his master Elijah raptured into heaven. Unless there was an because there was an encounter. Nothing supernatural. Revival does not come until God comes to town. So who will bring God to, to town? It's you the father. It's you the pastor. It's you the apostle, that teacher, that evangelist. It's you the father. It's you the brother. It's us. And I will be a mess if I don't mention my own brother, Dr. Soji. Amen. Great father, great inspiration. Amen. Amen. I love all of you from Ghana. And God bless you. If you are around here, you want to connect with our ministry. We are Action Chapel, Pennsylvania. We are now currently based in Reading, PA. And connect with us. Uh, if you want to be a blessing to us, just send us a text message. Uh, or messenger on Facebook Live. If you want to be a uh, blessing to us, we now have a location. We are working to fix the place so that we can have our own church building. So if you want to be support, to, or if you want to support or sow a, a seat into us, uh, you can just get the information on our screen. God bless you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the world forever and ever. Amen. Shalom, shalom. God bless you.